Turning now to the iconic rock star. Where am I going? Okay, over here, sorry, Prince. Let's talk about Prince. He's considered one of the most influential musicians of his time, but he also left behind a shoe collection that would make ah, any fashion lover jealous. <laughs> We're talking about more than 1,000 pairs of custom-made shoes, mostly boots with high heels. And now for the first time, Paisley Park, where Prince lived and worked in Minnesota, will showcase more than 300 of his most famous and outrageous pairs. We got a sneak peek before the collection opens Friday and learned how Prince played a big role in all of the designs. Custom hand painted clouds. I'd like to take a few questions right now. To the red heeled boots from an unorthodox Super Bowl press conference in 2007. Thank you. To the electric lace pumps worn during that shocking performance at the 1991 MTV Video Music Awards. You know the one. Let me show you, baby, I'm a talented boy. Prince's shoes are out of their boxes and on display in the beautiful collection, a new exhibit at Paisley Park. Prince's shoes are really works of art in their own right, just as detailed, vibrant, uh, intricate as the artist who wore them. None of them are alike. Yeah, it's like a snowflake. Curator Mitch McGuire and his team have spent over a year collecting and restoring the footwear, some after more than 30 years in storage. You could probably make a pretty fair argument that his overall influence on fashion was just as impactful as his musical influence. And I think Prince spent a good portion of his time just waiting for the rest of us to catch up. He was known for his outrageous and gender-bending fashion choices, and at just five foot three, favored a four-inch heel. But McGuire says they were much more than a fashion statement. These shoes were used as quite literally a tool for his own artistic expression. And so when he's on stage, he's dancing, spinning, going into the splits, coming back up again, you can see how the toes have been worn away. Was that when he was scraping? Exactly right. You can kind of get a little hint of his body, and I loved it, showing his body. Designer Stasia Lang spent three years creating fashions for prints. You had to make sure that the whole outfit was put together. That's right. When we knew we were going to make the outfit, we would make sure that we had enough fabric for the shoes as well. We'd decide how many pairs, how many duplicates or, you know, multiples are we going to need? Is he going on tour? She says the artist had a unique vision and knew what he wanted. He loved totally coordinated outfits from top to bottom. He also knew what he didn't want. I like this one. Yeah. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Was it fun for you, or was it hard to imagine what his next no, move was going to be? No, it was, it was fabulous. I think it was one of the most fulfilling jobs that I've had, just because he was so unique, so incredibly individual, you know, and I think that's what he gave to so many people. We've reported so many times that he would perform and be in pain. And, you know, when you look at the size of the heel, was it even surprising to you to see, wow, he was performing in these? Without a doubt, Prince was totally relentless. There was no off position on the performance switch for Prince. I don't think he knew any other way. We have an obligation at Paisley right now to be able to elevate the experience for those who choose to be a part of it. And that's exactly what Prince did. The goal for the exhibit, which opens this Friday, was to share a bit of Prince's artistry in a way that's worthy of the legend himself. Wow, that's wow. impressive. I just have the one pair of brown boots. <laughs> I've There's had no them for five years. I keep just changing the heels on them, but that's quite an impressive collection. Right? There's and they were all so different. Could... Even though they had a very similar style, like whether it was the, you know, the beading or the design, the clouds, the he, jewels. He was very particular. Yeah. And very few people could pull that off. No. <laughs> but he did. You sure did, and we miss him. Ahead, we